Now, let's set up our test environment, our lab. That is, we're going to install the SIP application server, the media server, the media gateway, and the terminals, the SIP phones. Ideally, you will need at least six computers. One for the SIP application server, one for the media server, one for the media gateway, and two for the SIP phones. Let's start with the SIP application server, because that would be the center of our attention in most parts of this video series. This is the element to where we will deploy our core controlling components implemented as SIP servlets, which is written in Java and packaged as a J2E application. There are several products of SIP application servers in the market. Some that I'm aware of are Bayoet Logic SIP Server, Mobisense from Red Hat, and Sailfin. That's from the Glassfish community. The last two in that list have open source license. In this video series, we will use Bayoet Logic SIP Server simply because that was the product I used in my previous project. Those products I just mentioned are basically J2E application server with an added module, namely the SIP servlet container, so that it can execute SIP servlet in addition to other J2E components. SIP servlet container must conform to a Java specification request number 115, better known as SIP servlet 1.0 spec. It was issued in the year 2003 and in July 2008 we have a new version uh, that is 1.1 under the GSR uh, 289. The version of Bayer Web Logic SIP Server we are using is 3.0 that implements the SIP Surfet 1.0 specification. You can download the evaluation version from this URL. Let me just install it now. Please watch. Now let's move on to the next entity, the media server. The media server we'll need in this video series must be able to interpret voice XML documents and participate in SIP calls. Media server that meet those requirements that I know of are Foxpilot, Foxio Prophecy, and VXI from Isaacsnet. I choose Foxpilot because at the time of writing, that was the only one among those four that supports the bird graph. The bird graph specifies SIP interface to voice XML media services. Basically, media server that supports bird graph can parse additional elements in the SIP signal that it receives, interpret it, and act accordingly. For example, let's suppose the media server is contactable at the following SIP array. Now, if you send an invite to that media server using a slightly modified SIP array, like this one, Then the media server will answer with a dialog defined in this URL. On the flip side, 
Let's suppose the hello world.vxml ends with the following lines of code. The exit tag will cause the media server to end the call, or in six pick, it will cause the media server to send a buy message to the other party. Media server that implements bird graph will include those parameters specified in the exit tag, along with their values, in the buy message as the message body. This capability, the bird graph, is vital for our application because this is a mechanism for passing information about the choice the caller made during the conversation back from the media server to our SIP servlet. The SIP servlet, based on that information, will then decide what to do with the call, whether to transfer it to another number, or put it in a queue, or anything. You can download the evaluation version from foxpilot.com. You can use it for 4 months. However, there is a functional limitation in that version, that is, it can only handle two simultaneous calls. Now let me just install it. Again, uh, please watch. Now we have to copy the license file we received in our email to the location under Foxpilot installation directory. Foxpilot install application registered two Windows services. We need to turn off one of them in the control panel because we prefer to run it from the command line. Now, since we'll be running Bea WebLogic and Foxpilot in the same machine, we need to change the port number of Foxpilot in the configuration file because the default one, 5060, is already assigned to Bea WebLogic. Okay, so the IP of this machine is 101. Let's start Foxpilot now from the command line. The port in the zip order is 7080 as we specified in the configuration file. That's the port to which Foxpilot is listening to for zip messages. Welcome to the Foxpilot Voice XML example. Main menu. Press 1 for the Hello World example. Press 2 for the text to speech example. Press 3 for the speech recognition example. Press 4 for the record application example. Press 5 for a transfer call example. Or hold to hear the Hello World example.